Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, Driving the Nation. I am here with Filippo Perini, the head of design for Atal Design and the car de head of car designers for all the Lamborghinis in back of me. Yes. Yes. So you have designed all of these. Uh, yes, with my team, but I was responsible of design since uh, in Lamborghini since uh, this first of March this year. And now I'm responsible in Ital Design, that is a, a company that is doing services for design in Turin, that is a, the city of automobili, automobili in Italy. Yes, Turin is very well known for design. We know. Yes. <laughs> now you also, uh, Audi owns uh, Ital Design? Yes, we, we are um, working now with uh, the Volkswagen Group, but yes. uh, the owner is uh, Audi. And uh, since I was in, uh, in, in Lamborghini, I had a, a team of uh, 12 people. Now it's much different because I have uh, 145 uh, guys working for me, designer and models. So it's uh, much more uh, challenging, challenging for me, but it's also beautiful because we can do a lot of, uh, lot of projects. So I'm involved in many, many, many projects. Now, Filippo, you also used to be an engineer. Yes, I'm an engineer. And now you're head of design. Yeah, that's, uh, that's because uh, my intention is always to don't be a stylist. Now, I think that uh, design is something in between uh, technician and art. No? Yeah. And when I was a child, I was attracted by both of them. Art, I was a start to, to do design, drawing, and when I was a really, really small children. But I was doing cars. I was attracted by, by cars. And when I, I decided to do the design uh, career, I asked to my mother and she said to me, okay, you can do it, but I want to do before, uh, uh, you have to do before engineering, engineering, you have to become an engineer, and after you can do what you want. So this is the reason I'm here. <laughs> so, but they kind of mold together, don't yes, they? Yes, 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 sure. And today in modern time is much more important because uh, you can be a stylist, not have any picture about uh, what is the behind the car, but this can't work for a supercar because supercars are so connected with a technical uh, issue. So it's important to have a clear picture about technical problem because if not, you can do a beautiful design, but this will be destroyed during the feasible pro feasibility process. So which one of the Lamborghinis did you enjoy designing the most? Uh, to be honest, it's the, the Aventador because uh, it was the first one. Yeah. We did a lot of uh, project. Uh, in the, in, uh, I, was, I was working for Lamborghini 13 years. You're remembering your first girlfriend. Yes, <laughs> it was the first girlfriend. I had a lot of fun doing, uh, doing the, the project with uh, technician, with designer, with uh, all the company. It was really a challenge because we were a really small team. Right. All the company was very small. And I think that now Lamborghini is a, is a beautiful brand, a beautiful company, company having a lot of success because of this time also. No? We started really with a lot of uh, passion and uh, maybe don't having enough, uh, let me say, confidence, but we did it. So that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful story for me. It will remain forever in my heart. We're at the Concorso Italiano. Concorso Italiano is a beautiful event for, because uh, I was working around here and I can see some car I designed or I, while, I, while I was involved in the project, it's beautiful because to, to, to do a work here means also to, for me to do a work in my, in my life. Yes. Because this car become part of, of your life. For a designer, I can't be just doing it. It's not a matter of to do a job. This is his life for me. I'm, I'm here with, with my wife and she's following me because she knows that this is my life. Yes. I, I have to share with her, but it's my life. It's a part of my family. What are some of the other cars here that you've designed? Uh, there are uh, two Alfa Romeos and uh, because I worked before for nine years in Alfa Romeo, there are many, many Lamborghini, so it's... Uh, it's like being a kid in a candy shop. Yes. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. I'm, uh, I'm laughing all the day long. <laughs> so, of, you're, of being an engineer, being a designer, do you like the design better or the, the sound of the engine? Uh, to be honest, yesterday uh, I, I was with my colleague, my friends in, uh, in Laguna Seca and they was kidding me because I was crying, literally crying on the, on the fences uh, looking for uh, Ferrari and uh, uh, Fords and beautiful uh, cars, sports cars. Uh, all the, the engine are touching my heart and it's, I don't know why, but I'm starting to cry. It's something uh, that the car is beautiful because it's not just, uh, just uh, a sculpture, but it's a, a sculpture that moves. And uh, you know, in Italy, there was a long history of a uh, poet, Gabriele D'Annunzio. He decided that uh, the body is female and the engine is male. 
So for us, it's, it's something in between. You now it's a really natural uh, approach. It's uh, something that is uh, touching our life. We consider car like like a human. Like uh, no, sometimes uh, I, I drive a lot in, in in Italy, and I feel the car that is behaving differently because of me or because of the weather. You no, know, it's a uh, it's stupid to say, but it's like this. It's art in motion. Yes, it's emotion. Yes, it, it has to be like this. And it is, it is emotional to you. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Filippo, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure.